Hello everyone and welcome back to Brotato. Hi, I'm Duke Silver and today we are going to be checking out One-Armed in this Danger 5 run. So One-Armed is a very unique character as uh, I'm, I know I say about every potato but uh, but I think a lot of the potatoes are very uniquely designed and that's I mean that's just definitely one of the strengths of the game is how uh, how different uh, how differently designed like all these potatoes are um, and how how kind of how kind of unique they all feel to play so um, but yeah, so let's get into this overview here. So, uh, so one armed gets a uh, plus 200% attack speed. Damage modifications are increased by 100%, which is a ton. And, uh, here's the real kicker though. You can only equip one weapon at a time, which I mean, I'm sure most of you assumed that with, uh, with the name one armed anyways. Uh, but yeah, obviously we got a ton of weapons to choose from and, uh, and yeah, this is a, this is a pretty tough run. Not a lot of weapons that can actually uh, actually get it done. Well, having only one when you're used to having six, right? Um, so yeah, like 100% damage modifications. You definitely have to f um, choose something that's gonna either have huge area of effect or have a lot of projectiles to kind of make up for the fact that you only you're only tagging with one weapon at a time. So with that being said, we are gonna start with the lightning shiv. Uh, as the lightning shiv just uh, it shoots a bunch of elemental projectiles every time you attack an enemy with it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna try and stack some. Our our, our, our game plan is to stack uh, some elemental damage so we can get those projectiles bouncing around the map, doing a lot of damage. Um, but uh, but I guess spoiler alert, we will be making a pivot um, at some point in the run. As I, I think you kind of just generally want to be able to pivot into something maybe a little more powerful um, if you can with uh, with one armed. Um, maybe I mean maybe not generally, but uh, but I think if you if you have the opportunity, it's worth it. Uh, but yeah. So we're gonna go with lightning shiv and it's gonna be danger five of course here we go so yeah so we're starting with the uh, the lightning shiv here and as you can see the projectile is already doing a reasonable amount of damage you can see them bouncing around and already taking out these wave one enemies as we try and collect uh, all the materials we can obviously the first wave is uh is generally breeze you only have one weapon anyways so uh, wave two on, of course, is, uh, is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. I mean, the first the first few waves, I think you can you could get away with having just one weapon uh, on basically any character for like the first two, maybe three waves. But uh, but difficulty spikes do uh, do happen like relatively early. You can see we've got with our level two uh, level two shiv now. We've already got already up to seven damage from three. Locked skull there and an alien. We take an alien tongue. I'm a big fan of pickup range, just in general. I just think it's a good utility thing to have, um, just like as a quality of life uh, item. Because I mean, there's been several times where you know there's just like a lot of materials on the ground and you can't quite get in to to uh, to collect them. And being able to co collect them from far farther away is uh is actually a lot more convenient than people realize. I think. Also, the fact that you uh, you can get pick health pickups from farther away is uh, is pretty important as well, I should say. Take a little bit of melee damage. And we take a little bit of range. Uh, being able to hit enemies from farther away is going to be good, so we don't have to like necessarily get right up into their faces. All right, we get a nice nice early coupon here. We are stacking a bit of melee damage, of course. So, uh, so melee damage and elemental damage, of course, are going to be our priority. I think um, elemental damage is a little bit more uh, effective, just because each attack is uh, is hitting enemies uh, multiple times with our elemental damage, whereas we're just we're just poking them once with our melee damage. And yeah, you can see that we're already already our clear our clear is still still very very good with just the one weapon. I mean, two hundred percent attack speed that'll do it. But uh, and the one hundred percent damage mods, of course, uh, of course, are very very good early. Uh, it's uh it's when when we start getting into the tougher waves when uh, when one arm starts to become a real challenge. We're gonna lock some damage there. It's gonna lower our attack speed a little bit, but we do have two hundred percent, so we can spare a little bit. And that percentage damage is also going to come in uh, pretty handy as well. Uh, like we're like we're going to be able to stack up flat damage a lot easier than normal because of the da uh, boost to damage modifications. So percentage damage, um, um, because of that percentage damage, uh, which is also going to be enhanced, is uh, is also going to stack up a lot faster and be a lot more a uh, lot more important than uh, than I normally uh, than it normally is. I think. Get a nice there elemental upgrade there. 
And we've still got the uh, this missile locked for percentage damage. All right, and yeah, our again our clear very good. You can see our you can see our projectiles doing more than our uh, our, our melee damage now, and hitting uh, hitting multiple targets. Of course, is uh, is helping a lot with our clear. Uh, yeah, it's all about uh yeah because like this the lightning shift has such a, a short range. It's it is a little bit uh. A little bit of like uh, a little bit risky to uh, to just walk up to enemies and start attacking because if you start getting charged at, then you kind of have to start dodging and weaving. And we're gonna take a couple little turrets just as like secondary sources of damage. Um, I don't think we're gonna spend too many materials on them, but we will uh, we will pick ones up that are that are free. There's a very early fin which has uh, has some life steal as well as some move speed, so we're just gonna we're gonna pick that up. Ah, uh, there's a scared sausage, and uh, yeah, this is our this is our pivot. There is a nuke launcher on wave seven here, so uh, I mean, like lightning shiv, I think is very very good, but I think an early nuke launcher is just uh, it's just too uh, too tempting to not uh, to not go for here. I feel like uh, even a single nuke launcher should be uh, should be pretty good at clearing enemies, and uh, and yeah, it, just definitely going to be a lot of fun to uh, to try out with 200% attack speed. I suppose I should say there's, uh, uh, I guess a flashing lights warning because uh, <laughs> the explosions from the uh, from the nuke launcher can tend to uh, to flash on the screen uh, pretty frequently. As we saw with uh, with the um, uh, what was what was the run that I, I ran? I, uh, I had had a bunch of nuke launchers. Uh, anyways, I put a flashing lights warning in the title for that one, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I might have to do that again for this uh, for this title. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how bad the the flashing lights are. And yeah, as you can see, our nuke launcher uh, shooting at a pretty uh, pretty high rate of fire already, thanks to the attack speed we have. Um, one shotting, uh, close or at least close to one shotting these large enemies. It looked like we were one shotting them in the beginning of the wave, but. Uh, maybe maybe their health goes up a little bit as the uh, the wave goes on. I'm not entirely sure on that, but but yeah, I mean even 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 with the two even two shots uh, with this with this rate of fire is fine. Uh, we do want to try and like group them together and and catch them all in the area of effect if we can. You can see just how well we're dealing with all the other enemies very very easily. We pick up a snake there, which is going to add a bunch of our or set things on fire, but. I don't know how effective that's going to be with uh, with our nuke launcher. Although our nuke launcher does scale with elemental damage, it scales with both elemental and range damage. So, so this uh, this work we put into our elemental damage is definitely not wasted here. There's a banner which is going to give us more attack speed and more range, but we lose life steal. And I think we're going to go for it and just like recoup some of the life steal we kind of traded off for some damage earlier. We'll save like the missile. And here's a wave nine, which is uh, a wave that we should be uh, we should be able to handle very easily with uh, with this huge area of effect from the nuke launcher. And yeah, we seem to be handling it pretty uh, pretty easily. Things going pretty smooth. We are kind of trapped in the corner though, which I didn't really expect to happen uh, with the nuke launcher. But I mean, one like like this, it has a pretty slow rate of fire normally, so the enhanced attack speed t helps a lot, but. Like we're definitely not like uh it's, it's not a machine gun so so we're shooting uh shooting a little bit slow and uh and enemies come at you very fast in this but we do manage to fight our way to the center and get all the materials we can here if i take a little bit of armor we need to take some amount of protection here there's a level three upgrade for hp regen which uh, we are going to take and there's a thunder sword which uh, i probably would have pivoted out of the lightning uh, shiv for the Thunder Sword, which I think I think the Thunder Sword is probably just a better version of the Lightning Shiv. Um, but uh, yeah, I would have pivoted here if we hadn't taken the Nuke Launcher. And actually, I really considered pivoting into the Thunder Sword and just uh, just going for that instead of the Nuke Launcher, just because the Nuke Launcher didn't perform as well as I thought it would against a uh, against the Wave Nine. But but I figure we stick with the Nuke Launcher and and see how it goes. Take a little more attack speed with the coffee there. There's another percentage damage at the cost of attack speed with that missile, which uh, I do end up taking. And I mean, there's a piggy bank. It is wave 10. 
We've seen with with basically every every wave or every uh, every video I post, I always take piggy bank. Whether I use it or not, um, like to to its full extent, is a whole other issue. But I mean, piggy bank, I think is just it's just a broken item, and it's just way way too good, way too easy to get econ going with it. At least that's uh that's my humble opinion, anyways. And uh, I mean, I finished every potato on Danger Five, so uh, so maybe maybe there's some merit to that. Alright, again, again, we're clearing clearing enemies well, but we are kind of trapped in the corner a little bit. We do have to try and fight our way out to the middle. Um, we, we need a little bit more attack speed, I think. Um, although, like, we like we're, you kind of, kind of, like, lose a bunch of, uh, uh, there's definitely diminishing returns for stacking up too much attack speed, because you can only get so much, right, per, per attack speed, right, especially for low, low base attack speed. Uh, crit chance is something that I'm pretty interested in as well, uh, which we are going to take there. We're going to take a little bit of crit chance. We lose uh, lose some armor. There's a community support, which is going to give us a bunch more attack speed, which I'm not entirely sure I want to take. Again, like there's kind of diminishing returns. We've already got a ton of attack speed, so so stacking it up seems like it could be fun, just because of I mean because of the nuke launcher it does so much damage, and uh, I think the rate of fire is significantly higher now that we've taken that community uh, support. I think uh I think there there is a marked difference. And yeah, you can see like again, uh like I said in previous uh previous videos, this uh wave eleven is a pretty good test for your damage, and you can see uh we're taking down these mummy enemies like relatively easily, generally two shots each. Uh which is uh which is fantastic. It means like we're keeping them off of us, and it means our damage is in a really good spot, even with only just one weapon. The, uh, the huge area of effect, though, makes up for, for having only one weapon by a lot, as we're hitting multiple enemies at once. Effect effectively, like, we're shooting them with different weapons. Get a little bit more pickup range, which, again, very, very big fan of pickup range. Just a very nice utility stat. We take a little bit more armor. We get a telescope there, which is going to give us some range and range, uh, flat range damage. Uh, medical turret is interesting. That's a kind of a, another way to heal ourselves. We're gonna we're gonna take the uh, metal plate there. It's gonna it's gonna give us it's gonna lower our percentage damage a little bit, but it's also gonna give us um, some armor. And I think uh, just making sure that we can survive waves is super important. We can definitely clear enemies once they're on top of us, uh, but we do need to be able to take a hit just in case uh, in case we get into a sticky situation or we get charged on. Unfortunately, we're not able to focus down the uh, the elite here. As uh, I mean, just because uh, because there's so many enemies around, our, we could only shoot uh, shoot one thing at a time, and we have to we have to focus on clear. And of course, the the gun, the gun shoots what it wants to, when, and which is the closest enemy, which is generally a smaller enemy. But we were doing decent damage to the elite. If we were able to focus it down, we would have been able to take it down in the time. But unfortunately, uh. A little bit, little bit too tough to uh, to clear and take the uh, take the elite down at the same time. There's a small magazine which gives us flat range damage as well as attack speed at the cost of percentage damage, which I'm very uh, I'm thinking about it. I mean, rain, flat range damage is, is is just worth a lot, and so we we do end up taking it. Although percentage damage is probably worth uh, more for a weapon like uh, like the nuke launcher, as it's a hot, got a high base damage, so uh, so obviously the percentage damage is going to increase the uh, the base damage uh, by by more with uh, with bigger numbers. You, obviously, your percentages are worth more. But uh, but yeah, I mean I mean obviously the fly range damage is uh, is also very valuable with the, with the damage modification. It also just enhances what percentage damage we already have. And yeah, you can see just uh, just how powerful our nuke launcher is. We're taking down these tentacles, which have very, very high health pools in just a couple of shots here. We're getting crits every once in a while as well, which is really nice. Uh, when, when I first picked, started picking up crit chance, I kind of uh, I, I kind of envisioned uh, getting getting crits on everything that we hit in the splash zone of, uh, of the uh, the nuke attack. But unfortunately, it only, it only crits uh, some enemies that it hits. 
which I guess is, is probably fair as getting uh, getting a crit on a huge area would probably be uh, maybe a little bit busted. There's some attack speed. There's also flat range damage. Attack speed is a higher level upgrade, but we're going to go with the flat range damage. I think that we need that a little bit more. Again, again we get diminishing returns if we stack our attack speed just too, too high. But but again, we want we want that high rate of fire because we're already doing such huge damage. Uh, and there's a there's a dynamite which is going to give us some explosion damage. That's going to give us plus fifteen percent um, extra damage, just period, on our weapon. And uh, and the hundred percent um, damage modifications does apply to that. So that just gave us plus thirty percent extra damage, which is enormous. Enormous. Excuse me. Uh, we're easily able to take down the eggs that this uh, this elite lays. And yeah, if we can just get a clear pass with them, we should be able to chunk down this uh, this elite pretty pretty easily. Unfortunately, this is uh, this is a wave that um, enemies spawn from other enemies. So as as we as we knock down enemies, they kind of replace themselves, which makes it hard to punch through since we don't really have any access to to real like piercing. We can just do kind of one area at a time, whereas uh, piercing damage generally does uh, does a little bit more for crowds like this. We do survive the wave very, very well. I want, I wouldn't, I want to say very easily, but relatively easily. Um, we're not able to focus down the elite again, which is a little bit unfortunate. But again, our wave clear, our wave clear is phenomenal, and uh, and yeah, we find another nuke launcher, which is which gives us a level four nuke launcher, and we're gonna grab, we're gonna get grab a vigilante ring. It's a little bit late, but we're gonna get six percent every wave from it. So, so that's a huge chunk of damage, and you can see just how much more damage we're doing now. We're, we're doing our base damage is 466 per enemy and we're just absolutely deleting everything we're hitting right now uh, on, uh, the, t the tentacles still take two hits but basically everything else is uh, is just a single hit in that area of effect and it's gone so we would love to pick up a plastic explosive now if we can um yeah, I mean, just increasing the size of this uh, this area would just go go a huge, a long, a long, long way for uh, for increasing our wave clear. But we're definitely we're definitely on a in good shape here, I should say. Uh, there's a schmoop which gives us some HP and HP regen, which is nice. We can't, like we took the candle there; it's gonna give give us elemental damage. Plus, it's gonna lower the amount of enemies, which uh, which makes it. So we should be able to uh, to clear even better. And also, I mean, of course, the elemental damage increases our uh, our percentage or our damage on our, our nuke launcher. Didn't increase it by that much, as you can see. We're up to 476 from um, 466. So, uh, but but also we got the vigil vigilante ring increase. So I'm not even sure which uh, which damage came from where there. But it didn't seem to really increase our damage by a ton. And yeah, you can see our wave clear very, very good. We delete most things. The the, the biggest enemies we do have a little bit of a harder harder time with, but uh, just two shots and usually they come down. There's another elemental damage upgrade, which uh, we are going to go with. There's an obliterator, which could be a fun, uh, could be a fun pivot as well if you see one of those early. The uh, the amount of raw damage you get from an obliterator is a uh, is a good it's a good weapon to take down elites with for sure, as it's got uh, so it's got like in, I'm pretty sure it has infinite piercing. It'll just go through the whole map, and uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, knocking enemies off of you before focusing on the elite. You're just able to. Uh, to just shoot shoot the elite through the enemies <laughs> and take everything out at once. So obliterator is a fun weapon, but and yeah, as you can see, this uh, this this wave doesn't have as many enemies, and we're actually able to focus on the elite, and we're just absolutely melting it, and it's dead. And with with uh, more than thirty seconds to spare, we're just holding uh letting letting that crate sit there just in case we take some damage, as it is a full heal if we go and pick it up. We are critting for over a thousand now, which is fantastic. Doing well over 500 with our base attacks.
and just uh, just handling this wave pretty well. Uh, it was getting a little bit overwhelming at the end there, but we uh, we ended up uh, being fine. Uh, there's a med kit. It's going to give us a ton of HP regen at the cost of luck, but we're already negative in luck and, and harvesting already, so we're not worried about that too much. Take another tree. Hunting trophy is a little bit um, uh, interesting just because we are critting uh, with, with some regularity, so that would be a decent little boost to our econ. If it wasn't wave 18 already, then uh, then I would be uh, I would be very happy to pick it up. As you can see, all those yellow numbers popping up. Uh, no, nothing surviving that, so that's like almost a guaranteed uh, guaranteed shot at a material there. Yeah, we're having having no trouble keeping enemies off of us in this wave so far. Uh, the uh, the 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 bosses on wave twenty, um, they tend to group up, so I'm like kind of uh, kind of interested to see like just how much damage we can put on them with the uh, this area of effect. We might be able to shoot them uh, both at once, at least until they get to half and sort of split up. Some more elemental damage, but I think we want to go with max HP here or HP regen. Take a wandering bot which is going to be good for helping us uh, slow down the enemies and kind of control the crowd even more. There's another nuke launcher, which we cannot make use of. There's another scared sausage as well, but I don't think we care about that at all. Take a little bit more elemental damage. I was uh, interested in the wings just because I like I like uh, increasing my move speed, but the fact that it, it's gonna take away our elemental damage made me definitely uh, definitely pass that one. Base damage is up to 575 now. And yeah, you can see we're just just deleting enemies left and right. They don't even stand a chance. Getting getting crits on those uh, on those tentacles is always great. Seeing them wiped from existence in a single shot is uh, very satisfying, especially when you've struggled against them a lot. Yeah, we just want to pick up some of the materials before we uh, we end the wave here. We leave quite a few on the ground, which is a little unfortunate, but I mean I think we're we're in we're in fine enough shape that we're gonna be able to handle these uh this last uh last wave pretty easily anyways. And here we go, wave twenty. We get the bosses. Let's see how much damage we can put on them. And yeah, you can see their health to drop like drop in huge chunks basically immediately. We've got them both down to almost half. And again, yeah, they group up in the beginning, so like the the area of effect damage we've been able to put on both of them has been really, really effective here. And pick up that crate for a little health boost. For those that don't know, crates do give you a little health boost, just like a health consumable. All right, we take a bunch of damage, but we do manage to take down the uh, the first boss, which is uh, fantastic. And we we almost die to the second boss, kind of walking over to us, but we managed to survive that with uh, thankfully we invested in some amount of armor. Otherwise, we'd be dead. And uh, but yeah, we. We pull through and then we take out the other boss so so yeah that's one armed nuke launcher run um this, this runs a lot of fun i don't know just shooting big uh big area of effects all around is uh very satisfying and just seeing those big numbers pop up in uh in those big circles is uh just uh again just a ton of fun <laughs> anyways uh yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already leaving a like lets youtube know that uh, they should recommend this video to more people, um, and I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your night or day or morning or whatever time it is, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.